Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. It is a stadium that has a feel very much of its own. I'm talking, of course, of Craven Cottage. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Fulham taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, you can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Kepa stands between the posts. Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Jorginho plays alongside Mateo Kovacic in central midfield and the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition Thank you Craven Cottage Enjoy the game It ought to be a really interesting battle. Chelsea kick off. Kenny Tete. Harrison Reed. And Palinia with it. Reed now. Palinia. And a body in the way. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Making a bit of headway. And the cross from Willian. Taking care of business defensively here. Now, how about the short corner? Dangerous looking attack. And that was simply miles off target. Well, I think he's right to go for power, but he's made the wrong connection, and it's really poor technique in the end. Mateo Kovacic. Sterling. Now potential danger. Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. Harry Wilson. Pereira. Tete. Wilson. Offside, close one. Thiago Silva. Mount. And now with Kovacic. A real opening now. Still possibilities. 
And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Oh, good work by the keeper. And taken short. Kovacic. And now Sterling. Terrific block. And he's through here. Promising attack, but his timing was off. Koulibaly Mateo Kovacic just the challenge that was required Harrison Reid well Chelsea have controlled the last 15 minutes and have looked great going forward they just need to take one of the chances they've created to get themselves ahead today yes yeah, really going so well for them and who knows they might be able to craft another opportunity Sterling can he give them the lead well really fine goalkeeping good diving stop and a short corner let's see Silva is it going to be What a way to silence the crowd! Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. One nil then. Number six, well, the attack looks promising, and he cuts in from the wing. Well, the supporters think it's on. In it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be! Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Harrison Reed. Well, there it is. Half time. The first half is in the history books here at Craven Cottage. Well, we know all about the considerable heights Mason Mount is capable of scaling, but it's not happening for him so far. Well, he's been very quiet so far. He just hasn't got away from his marker. He needs to find a spark from somewhere and start testing this goalkeeper. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Chances on. Oh, goodness me. He made it far too easy for the keeper, didn't he?
Intelligent threaded pass here. But in fact, he's taken up an offside position. Oh, that's frustrating. He just took too long to see the pass. Really good interception. Chance to do damage. Mount. Kovacic. Well, able to close down the short. Kovacic. An alert piece of defending. Thirty minutes to go then. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Chelsea will get the throw in. Aspilicueta. Chilwell. Now with Jorginho, looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Chelsea's corner as they try to take the lead here. And the substitution will occur now. And deciding to go short with this one. And able to close down the shot. Could be threatening. Kovacic. Another block. William. Now what can William do? It's an intelligent run. Delivered into the area here. And there is the goal! He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity, certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Tosin Adarabayo. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Tete. Good looking sequence. Chance to cross. Wilson. And that was simply miles off target. Well, I think he's right to go for power, but he's made the wrong connection. And it's really poor technique in the end. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Kulibali. Here's Chilwell. Well, spot on with that challenge. Pulisic. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. And now William coming into it. 
So the final whistle, and Chelsea take nothing at all from this fixture. What did you make of it? Yes, Derek, they were well off their usual standards today, and with the quality that they have in their squad, I think it's fair for the fans to demand more. Too many bystanders for me, just not good enough. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.